so I'm Imelda Reimamu from Tanzania. Um, I am the last born in a family of six children and I enjoy being the last born to say the least. I really don't have a specific definition towards who I am because every day I keep on discovering something new about me. I've had a f an opportunity of growing up in a really diverse community because I was sent to a boarding school when I was six years old. I think, I think that's the experience that started defining myself because I grew up to become, uh, I mean, I was dependent on myself for most part of my life. And that's what I've carried to this point in my life that I can almost do anything on myself. If I could do th stuff when I was still six years old, I can still do things on my own right now. I think before I came to ALA, the common and standard definition of being an African was being black, right? Now I have many white friends, many from my old school, majority of our school was white, English people. But I think what it means to be African is to be connected with Africa in as many ways possible. Physically, emotionally, you know, psychologically, mentally, it's more than just being born. It's you understanding where you come from. You don't have to know every single culture in Africa for you to be African. I'm an African, I know a lot about my culture, and I'm still to learn a lot more. But it's about pride, right? It's about, I'm born in the, on the African continent, I share something common with the African continent. When the African continent suffers, I feel it too. When, you know, so it's a lot more than just being born. It's about being connected with the African continent and taking some of the things that other continents don't do that you take pride of. So having phrases in your own language here and again when you're speaking to your friends, ululating, having these wedding ceremonies from like that are very different across you know the African line. I mean, no uh, wedding ceremony is the same, and having colorful you know attire. And, and, and being proud of walking, you know, on the African soil, looking African, being bold, you know, and I think, I think that's what it means to be African. Understanding why you are where you are, understanding the circumstances that surround you on the African continent, but at the same time, being proud of being African. It's not about color, it's not about hair, it's not about your eyes, it's not about your hips or your bum. It's all about feeling it, understanding why you're here, and wanting to share the cultures in Africa. <laughs>